Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to record your vocals in Cool Edit Pro. Cool Edit Pro is a free program. It is now owned by Adobe, which is the program is now called Adobe Audition. All right, so right now I'm using my microphone, the ATR 2500. It's a USB condenser microphone. And you want to right click the track that you choose to record on and then you select your input device so mine is the ATR USB microphone and then you just select your output so rather it's the speakers or it's the microphone I'm using the microphone since it has a headphone jack zero latency so right now you will want to click the right the red record button right up here make sure it's bright and then you will want to click the record button down here also because if you do not if you do not it's not going to record it's just going to have like a blank space right here so i'm about to show you how i record my b tags my vocals or whatever i use this over audacity because it makes you sound better and it's easier for me to use shy 407 beats Okay, the name Shy, that's my B tag. I always had it because when people first meet me, I am really, really shy until they get to know me. All right, so you want to look for any of, like, if you breathe in it, look for any breaths or any, like, unwanted noise. Just right click and then hit silence. And then silence this empty space right here. Then after that, you want to go to amplify. Go, make sure you are on center wave and make sure both of these are at zero. If they're not, it's going to sound completely weird. All right. So after that, you want to go to dynamics processing. Go to DS or medium. That's what I use. But if you have like a lot of S's and it's really hard and harsh, then I would suggest for you to use DS or hard. But for me in this case, I'm going to use medium. Then after that, you want to go to FFT filters. Go to kill mic rumble. That's in case you hit the mic while you're recording. Then after that, you want to go to graphic equalizer. Go to spit clear. Reason why I say spit clear is because when you talk, you spit. Even though it sounds really, really gross, it happens to all of us. So after that, you want to go to FTT filters again, and then you want to select one of the mastering presets. I always use heavy and na narrow because it sounds good with my voice. Any of these that says the mastering is good, it just depends on what your voice sounds like and what you want to sound like. So I'm just going to use heavy and narrow. Hit OK. Then after that, we're going to go to... Dynamics process and go to DS or light. Always do it again, just in case I didn't get all the S's out. Then after that, I go to a hard limiter. So I either use negative six dBs or negative nine dBs. In this case, I'm gonna use negative six dBs. But since this is gonna be my beat tag, I'm gonna undo that and then I'm gonna go to delay effects and then hit the reverb I can use tight and close vocal natural preference like vocal natural reverb I mean you can use any of these or whatever you choose to use in this case I'm gonna probably use tight and close but here's to preview it shy 407 beats like that sounds good enough and then I would go back to limit hard negative 6 dBs and then after that, once you are finished, you want to double click this right here. So you're back in the track. Then you want to go to save, mix, mix down as. Save it as whatever. So I'm going to save it as my beat tag. Number two. Well, I set beat two. Then after that, I hit the exit. And then I just import that into my FL Studio. So let me just pull up a beat that I made. Hold on, let me save this real quick. 
Um, let's see. We're going to pull this up right quick. Now, mind you, this hasn't even been mixed or anything like that, but I'm going to drop it in there. Or has it been mixed? Yes, it has been mixed. I just haven't released it. Okay, so. I'm going to go to the desktop and import it into FL Studio. Okay, if it'll let me do it. Okay, then I put it in there. So, I always wanted to put it before the beat gets started. And then I always put it right click, select channel. And then I'm going to put an EQ on it. Just click vocal preferences. And then after that, it's in my playlist, and here's the beat. Shy 407 beat. Mm -hmm. 